Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick video about removing an element from an array. It wasn't all that long ago that I wasn't that familiar with arrays. And so I found them a little bit tricky. Anyway, we're just in a basic on template here and this is all in code. So I have a verse device in the scene. So we're just going to take a look at this real quick. I just finished a game that actually involves using a lot of arrays. Anyway, what we have here is a variable called my array and it's set to a string and we have four items in it. We need a counter so that we can loop through the array so we're setting a variable index to zero. And then what we have here is a for loop and this is set as a range. So we grab this index value and we're basically saying go from zero to one minus the length of the array. The length of the array starts from one, the index goes from zero to whatever. So we have to compensate for that by subtracting one. So because an array can fail, we have to call it within an if statement. So here we're, as this value is changing, it's going to increment because it's going to, this for loop is going to iterate through the entire array. It's going to make four passes. So each time it makes a pass, it's going to print here. We're getting the element out of the array and putting it in my string and then we're just printing the value of whatever's in the side of the array here. So we should see all these four items vertically. And then after that's done, because we just want to essentially verify what's in the array. Then after this, what we're doing is we're saying, we're telling it to remove the fourth item, which has an index array value of a three, because it goes zero, one, two, three. So remove this item, remove the fourth item. Then what we're going to do is set the index to zero, reset our counter, and then we're going to do what we just did again to see if the item was removed. And what we're going to see is that the item is not removed. It's like we removed the item, but it didn't really affect this storage container. So it's kind of interesting if you think about it. It removed it, but it didn't really remove it because it didn't really change anything. Even though we said remove it, nothing happened. So we're going to reset the counter again we're going to loop through again to see what's going on and we'll see all of our elements and this time though this is the point of this whole tutorial is that when you remove the element you've got to reset the array so we remove the element from the array but then we assign it to like a new array and then we take that new array and reassign it back to the old array so then it'll actually decrease the size of the array. I guess what I'm saying is for remove element to have any effect, you have to reset the array and this is how you do it. And then you'll see when it reprints that the length of the array is going to drop down to three and then there's only three elements in there. You'll see that. So that's all the code. It's worth studying. It's very, very interesting. And you would do the same thing with uh, the map. If you were going to remove an element from a map, you'd have to reset the map. Let's so start game. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So you see how it printed the first item, everything in the array. We tried to remove the item, but we didn't reset the array. So it kept the, the length as four. Then notice it reprinted again, looped through. And then we, when we reset the array, now it has a length of three. So that's the takeaway from this is if you remove an element, you have to reset the array. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.